Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Jerome. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I'm back, baby. What can I say? It's been about two months since I actually uploaded a real video. I've been gone for a minute. What have I been up to? Graduated college, got that master's degree. I was sick for a while. I ended up in the hospital. Beat that shit. But yeah, you just enjoyed the holidays. New year, went on a bit of a vacation with my girl. Um, it's just a good time. I said like a week and a half ago, like this Monday, I'm getting back to work. So uh, here I am, back on the channel, and I got some really exciting things uh, in store for you guys. Uh, but uh, I, I wasn't going to start with a music reaction video, but uh, J. Cole came out the blue. So, of course, I have to come out the blue. J. Cole is one of my favorite artists, top three, and he's probably not three. And, and funny enough, uh, the track is called Procrastination, and, and I have read uh, what you see here on the screen, this little... Uh, introduction but what it is um and, and i just figured you know what, what better track to come back to than this where you know uh, you, i was on vacation a whole bunch of other stuff going on uh, sort of procrastinating coming back to the youtube scene well here i am so we'll end that procrastination now uh, we'll keep going strong uh, but yeah we'll see what we can learn through this track um for those of you who are somehow unfamiliar with the track and still ended up here um essentially what it seems like is that j cole was struggling for motivation and he just looked up on youtube a j cole type beat and he wrote a verse for it and uh he let the person who created the beat uh he let the producer keep the track and post on his channel so here we are um without further ado I figure let's just get into it and see what it's about. To look your truth dead in the face without trying to escape the regret or disgrace. I write these words aimlessly, but not without hope that somehow I'll stumble on something that's dope, a clever little line. Just real quick, I think that's really smooth. I think a lot of times one of the best ways to beat procrastination is just to, to try things, to throw stuff on the wall, see what sticks, you know? I think a lot of times procrastination comes hand in hand with perfectionism and that's exactly what he's saying here instead of uh, trying to escape regret or disgrace he's just writing words aimlessly you know he's not doing it without hope uh, i'm hoping he'll stumble on something dope that's one thing j cole always seems to do uh, a lot of slick artists will present problems but they'll just avoid solutions i think j cole is someone where you know he's so real he's so relatable and Oftentimes, he'll even present solutions to issues. I mean, you go back to KOD, one of the solutions he presented was meditating, and that was like a common theme throughout. Don't even know if somebody gonna hear this. Got so many songs, they get lost in the endless folders of the hard drive. I wish I was more fearless, because I just say fuck it and dump all the music for niggas that hate it. Um, so this is tying into what I just sort of said. So I don't know if somebody gonna hear this. Uh, I got so many songs, uh, they're lost in folders of a hard drive which is more fearless to just release songs. In some ways, you, you understand where he's coming from. Someone of J. Cole's stature is, is so huge that everything he releases is going to be put under a microscope and, and judged and be like, oh, he fell off or this isn't like a 2014. So someone in his position, you, you certainly understand where, where this is coming from. Uh, but, you know, some of my favorite artists, Kendrick and Cole, they've, publicly said that they have just thousands well at least kendrick said he had thousands of songs just on drives and i'm sure cole was the same way and you just really hope that towards the end of the career when they, when they call it quits hopefully they somehow get this out to us um i know i would dig through every single track of each of those guys is whatever they have in the vault i don't care if it's unfinished unmastered it doesn't matter to me dump all the music for niggas that hate it and niggas that use it as fuel to push them through long nights at school writing that last minute paper for class that's due in the morning oh, okay this is really slick so the same way that he found motivation um through someone else's beat in order to write this he's connecting how this uh how his songs can do the same thing for us who listen to it as uh, you know, I certainly am someone who, who does uh, or did, I'm done now, <laughs> someone who did his homework or, or, or did his work while, while, you, uh, while listening to music. Um, so th there's times where, you know, pumping through 2 a.m. papers and, uh, you know, listen to that. Let me tell you, th this song and one of the reasons he's so popular is just how relatable he is. I mean, I just told you how I just graduated and let me tell you, papers were the death of me now i graduated uh in software engineering which i know seems like something that's very logical but 
in reality, there's a lot of uh, creativity that goes into it, just in the way of how th there's problems that haven't been solved before, or, th or there's multiple solutions, and you have to find a way to optimize it. I know it sounds really boring, but but there is creativity in it, and that's one of the things that keeps it at least somewhat interesting and not just the worst job ever. Let me tell you, man, papers. I, I know there's gonna be people in here who, who liked English class or, or whatever. I fucking hated papers, man. It was like torture. Like, and they give you these uh, page deadlines too, and you just have to BS stuff. Like, it just didn't feel creative. It just felt like busy work to a point. And I get their purpose, but uh, <laughs> definitely understand where he's coming from here about procrastination. Because I need to finish this album. Yeah, you do. Hell, how many more times <laughs> can I sit in this wooden pail down in that well and pull it back up with the hope that it's filled? Tapping the hunger when you don't got wonder about where your next meal is coming from. Mm -hmm. Maybe you feel my conundrum, or maybe the real is I'm so um far removed from the struggles of everyday folks. I, I really enjoyed the imagery uh, of the, the wooden pail and to a well um and, and you're just hoping that, that there's water when you pull it back up and, and i think that's a really good image because something like like what j cole does with rap is so mind intensive and, and it's not just a you know you try one thing and then you know you know it, it's like you have to take the bucket all the way down to the wall you have to pull it all the way back up just to see if something hit so i just think that's good imagery uh, I like the rhyme scheme there when he's talking about uh, uh, coming from conundrum, so um. I mean, who, how do you even think of that rhyme? Conundrum and then so comma um, like... That's just ridiculous. I pushed the Lambo truck down in the veil, hoping I connect with something that's real. Part of me wonders why I'm even still. still, still uh, holding on to this place, my mama been gone and my partners are straight, right? All right, so that was Procrastination uh, by J. Cole, produced by Batman. That was pretty great, man. Uh, certainly, it's not like track of the year or anything, but it, it is one of the more relatable songs that I've heard in recent times, especially a as a recent student and, and as someone who, who struggles with procrastination. And, and I'm just curious why something like this isn't talked about more in music, just because I think it's something that the vast majority of people struggle with not just a lot of people i think the majority of people struggle with procrastination and it's kind of ingrained in our society and amplified through media you know it's so easy just to open instagram or to open tiktok and just scroll through that for hours you know it, it's very consequential to do that i mean there's so many hobbies uh the things you could do to better yourself or to better your community or your family that are so much easier to put to the side to put aside you know, c compared to those apps that really just drain productivity and one of the interesting things to me at least and, and j cole even talks about it in this track is that it's so hard to put down those productivity drains for the things that are actually productive but once you do it's really easy to get into it I mean, I, I did the same thing here with, with YouTube. Like now that I'm recording a video and, and talking to you guys again, it's been so long. Um, it feels great. I, I feel like I don't want to touch my phone ever again, <laughs> but it's a cycle, man. It's an endless battle. It's just amplified in today's modern world. Uh, but just as J Cole says, uh, I think one of the solutions to that is, you know, as he writes these words aimlessly, but not without hope, you know, you just got to try things and, and start you know once you take the first step it, it gets a lot easier but yeah man i mean there, there's a lot of good in this i mean there's great comments here as well i mean look at this uh the reason j cole had so much success because his music is authentic absolutely um and then also just a lot of love for the producer as well i, I think that's really awesome you know really selfless of j cole to do to put a verse on just a uh, random fans random producers track um, so props to Cole. But yeah, I figured it was only right that I, uh, I came out of hiding with a track about procrastination. Uh, regardless, hey, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give it a like, subscribe, comment. I try to reply to as many of them as I can. Trust, there's a lot of good stuff in store. So uh, be sure to subscribe. You won't regret it. All right now, peace.